Hello, good evening. A Radar's pilot is in hospital tonight after a mid-air collision during training in Crete. It was part of a pre-season exercise at the Castelli base on the island. Our reporter Victoria Smith has been following developments and joins me in the studio. Victoria, what happened? Well, two Red Arrow jets are reported to have collided over Castelli in Crete. Uh, they arrived there on Sunday. The team arrived on Sunday to take part in the first stage of exercise Springhawk. Now, according to police on the island, they were uh, involved in this collision when one of the pilots parachuted from his plane, uh, dislocating his shoulder. Reports are the second pilot is unharmed. Uh, the Foreign Office has issued a statement. It says the following, an incident has occurred involving the Red Arrows whilst undertaking pre-season training. One pilot ejected and has been taken to hospital and the other one landed safely. Now, there were some witnesses to the collision and uh, Michael Nairamakis from the Castelli Hotel in Crete has been telling us what happened. Two of them were approaching the airway, very not high. The one, uh, they're approaching each other, trying to make uh, the tricks. Some uh, people say that uh, they crashed each other, and the one plane crashed on the runway. The pilot uh, managed to open the parachute. The other plane managed to go to the airport of Heraklio and uh, land there. So, Victoria, why were the Red Arrows in Crete? Well, they're just about to begin their official training season, of course, at 600 miles away in Cyprus. They're meant to arrive there on the 1st of April and start their two-month training program. Uh, normally what happens is that by the end of May, they perform a display. That's inspected by the Commander-in-Chief of the Central School of Flying. He then gives them the authority to put on public displays, and they then become the Red Arrows display team for the season. Now, of course, the fact that one pilot has been injured and that this collision has happened means there'll be an investigation into the crash which could cause some delays to the training schedule. All right, Victoria, thank you. Well, a few minutes ago, I spoke to Miles Garland, a former Red Arrow who flies with the Blades acrobatic team. I asked him if this kind of thing had ever happened before. Um, I'm, I don't know the details of this uh, particular accident um, as such or, you know, what the direct cause was. Um, but obviously in the past, um, not in the recent past, I have to say, um, there have been uh, collisions during the Red Arrows um, training, um, but sort of, I mean, I'm talking sort of 20 years plus, um, you know, back in the 60s and 70s. Um, I don't know of any um, sort of, you know, in recent times, but uh, there, there have been instances in the past, yes. In this case, the pilot ejected. What happens when a pilot does that? Um, obviously, it's a, you know, it's a very quick um, decision to be made, as I would imagine, you know, it hasn't happened to me, but, you know, friends of mine that it has happened to and spoken to them afterwards, um, you know, when the decision to eject is made, it's, uh, it's obviously, there's a lot going on, uh, and I guess a lot going very, very wrong as well. But, um, you know, once, once the handle is pulled, uh, the pilot would be, you know, in his parachute um, within approximately two seconds, um, you know, and then thinking about the landing, really. Um, so it's a very, very quick uh, way to leave the aircraft. Um, and, you know, obviously, it's a very clear-cut decision when something's gone so catastrophically wrong. And Miles, in the context of this accident, this incident, what do you think it means for the Red Arrows? Well, I mean, that's a very tricky question. Um, you know, by nature of the business, um, you know, flying jets is, is, is relatively hazardous. Um, you know, it would be purely speculation and, and I, you know, I would hope that it would have, you know, no impact at all. Um, you know, it's, uh, I dare say, it's one of those things. I mean, everything is done to, to reduce the chance of something like this happen, but you know, it's a training, um, a training accident, um, and as uh, they have happened in the past, you know, as we started off saying at the start of the interview, um, but, but I would hope that it would have no impact at all. You know, they would, um, you know, assess, look at what happened, um, ensure that something similar doesn't happen again, uh, and move on.